What's up guys? This is a business reading for the sign of Cancer for first week of September 2019. Before I begin, quick announcement. I do these business readings because I did a business reading on my brand, my new brand, Jambody TMC. And though the odds are against me, Spirit told me that this would be a very lucrative opportunity for me, bringing abundance, bringing healing, bringing happiness, bringing financial blessings and responsibility. So I decided to take the leap and go ahead and listen to Spirit and move forward on you know, the business opportunity. And things started manifesting very quickly for me. As soon as I started balancing my masculine energy and putting energy into this business, um, the right people were float, you know, the right people were attached to me to make it happen. So I do these business readings to help you enhance understanding of your business or business idea and to bring it to life or to try something else. Just to give you strategy, insight, and clarity, I offer full comprehensive business readings with action plans for $77 on my website and the link will be in the description if you're interested in that. This is a general reading. You may or may not resonate with it. But if you don't resonate it, just take it as it is and take it as an example of what a business reading be, would be for you. And if, if it's something that you're interested in, order one. So this is for a sign of cancer. I pull Oracle first. And what we have is adjacent possibilities. We have man with the coin. We have door to value. And we have first chakra. Archangel Michael, stability, secure, abundance. So we have a man. So, but when I did the first uh, shuffling of this, a woman with a coin came out first. So what we do know is that this business has the opportunity to be very lucrative. You have man holding a coin. You have door to value and Archangel Michael. But these both specifically state abundance. Look at all the money falling and look at that man holding the coin it's stability it's masculine energy leads to um, and masculine energy is hard work and dedication persistence and and putting your energy and physical effort and doing the task over and over focusing on your goals and dreams leads to value leads to an increase in value of your business leads to maybe even increase in valuation of your business leads to abundance and financial blessings and we have first chakra, chakra archangel michael which also signifies security and stability and a change for your business operation meaning your business may go from not being so stable financially to abundance and stable secure abundance meaning it's not just a cash it's not just one part it's not just one aspect or one part or one season. It's continuous blessings and stability and growth for your business. Adjacent possibilities may need you to look at different ways of conducting business. Maybe the way that you're conducting business right now, if it's not lucrative, then Spirit is saying look at different opportunities that will enhance the outcome of your business. Because you have the potential to be lucrative spirit is asking you to look at it from a different perspective and see um if it works but overall uh, and we have envy on the bottom of the deck meaning it's going to be so successful that people are going to be jealous <laughs> that's a, you want to be so successful in business that people how does she do it or they're envious you know envy is not a good spirit to have or to attract but at the same time, if you're so successful that people are now jealous, that's some good success. First card pulled out, Ace of Pentacles. Again, this is an abundant opportunity for you. This is new beginning. Ace of Pentacles is a new abundant beginnings and opportunities, um, abundance. Look at that beautiful background. This is a good business for you. This is a good business. And the sun was right on the bottom of the deck when I pulled the Ace of Pentacles. Manifesting um, manifesting the sun and new financial opportunities. Masculine energy leading to hard work and dedication leading to uh, financial abundance. Wow, this is better than my reading. Okay. You have the Eight of Pentacles. And the Page of Cups, I don't resonate with being, um, I don't resonate with this being in the reverse, so I took it up front. Okay, hard work leads to, 
When I see the Page of Cups, sometimes I think of cast your net. When, you know, the disciples, Jesus told somebody to cast their net and it was overflowing and fish. Where before, oh, I hope I don't make you yawn. It's late and this is my last reading. I'm so sorry, guys, for yawning. I don't, I'm not even going to edit that out. <laughs> but anyway, I think of casting your net and being overflooded with opportunity and fish because of it. So your hard work leads to offers your hard work leads to customers your your hard work leads to abundance of people and places and things coming and finances coming to you in an exponential ways leaving you in a more stable and financially abundant place good business reading so far very good yeah so whatever adjacent possibility that spirit is saying just look at your situation and figure out what it is that you need to change because you definitely have a lucrative opportunity on your hands you have, um, your business is definitely bound for success. Lit on my Celebration. You have will of fortune in celebration. So, okay. I think this is the nail on the head. With the will of fortune and the three of cups, you have celebrations and achievements and accomplishments coming together to celebrate everything that you've created. But the will of fortune, like... Who wouldn't want to get the Wheel of Fortune in a business reading? And I always read the Wheel of Fortune in a positive way. Sometimes people read it as karmic. You know, it could be a turn of events to negative. I don't, I read it purely positive, purely abundance coming in, opportunity flowing in, and just celebrating with family and friends because you've made so much money in business. You've done so well in business that you're very accomplished. People recognize your accomplishments. It's in the light with the sun. These opportunities are flowing to you. I want to know what business this is. Because this is an opportunity. Whatever spirit is, whatever business is resonating with this, this is a great business, a great business opportunity that spirit is resonating with. We have the high priestess right there trying to show. But figure out what these adjacent possibilities are. Because it's literally the it's the it's the key for you. Oh look, I'm looking at one of my old videos. I got eight likes. I'm happy about that. I know I can you know so much many channels are doing much better, but um, I'm just grateful for that because for a long time I wasn't even getting likes. And Spirit told me like YouTube is gonna be very lucrative. I mean YouTube is gonna be um, good for you. And I try to channel and I'm like, Spirit, like, you said this was going to be good. Why isn't things working out? And Spirit gave me masculine and feminine and told me to focus on twin flame readings. Why is my phone listening to me? Spirit, ain't nobody talking to you. Anyway, we have the chariot coming forth. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the ten of pentacles. For moving on up. Your business is moving on up to a new phase of life. To new levels, you're moving on up with your business. Um, this is learning from the old, learning from past mistakes. This is learning from um, previous business ventures, pre people, places, and things. But this is also moving forward on better um, levels, new levels, and opportunities for your business. I guess when you meet one, you reach a milestone with all this abundance and success coming in for your business. So you move forward towards the next level. This four movement towards better, bigger and better. And I'm going to just pull one more for this business because I, there, it's very clear that this is a great opportunity for you. Spirit is very proud of you. Spirit is very happy with this business and asking you to look at adjacent possibilities and move forward. Okay. All right. Perfect sense why this adjacent possibility card came out because on the bottom of the deck now, and I'm done with this. We have the Nine of Swords and we have the Moon. You don't see this coming. You don't see this. All this opportunity and value is in your hands. But you don't see it, Cancer. I don't know, Cancer. I think you need to look at it from a different perspective. Find out whatever adjacent possibility this is. But this is all in the dark for you. You don't see it. The moon resonates with your side as well. For me, on the tree of life. And your side is putting yourself in a position to receive. 
and, and being in a place of anxiety does not put you in a place to receive anxiety is the opposition impeding your blessings negative energy is the opposition impeding success negative or overthinking things of that sort impedes success so i want you to find balance within your thoughts find balance within your mind you have the star right there under that wanting to be seen recognition is coming to you abundance and value to you and your business is flowing to you you have success on the horizon and it's literally a lot of it you have the will of fortune you have a lot of money coming your way look at all this the stability is the security is a strong foundation in this next level you have a lot of money and success coming your way. Look at it from a different perspective and get rid of this negative thinking and anxiety. Get out of your head. It's all going to work out, even if you don't see it. Cancer, thank you for watching. I ask that you like, subscribe, comment. Let me know if you resonate with this. What's the name of your business? And if you would like a comprehensive business reading where I give you an extra plan and a reading from Spirit, um, I'll be happy to do that for you. Click the link in my description and order it. I wish you love. I pray over your business. I pray over your life. I pray that you know what adjacent possibility spirit is speaking of and that you take it and it turns out to be successful. Don't let this enviness get in your head. Don't let this anxiety get to you. I pray for uh, Lord Ganesha to remove all obstacles in the way of blessings and success. I pray over you and your life and your business or increase and overflow. Anyway, I wish you love. I wish you light. And I wish you more life. Peace.